thing I'd like to do is I would like to see it influence the policy debate in Washington. And whether this is going to happen or not, I don't know. Here, here's what happened. Uh, I, um, I have known this Max Baucus, the senator from Montana. He's the chairman of the Finance Committee, and he's basically writing the Senate version of the health policy bill. I've known him a long, long time and had told him that I was doing this book. So he had me um, come and talk to the Senate Finance Committee about how other countries do health care, which I thought it, it went very well. It was really good. Your Senator Maria Campbell <coughs> was there, and it was clear that she got, she got the point that the other countries first made a moral commitment to cover everybody and then found a mechanism to do it. To me, that's, it's got to be that progression. First, you've got to decide we think everybody in our country should have health care, and then you can find a mechanism to get there. In contrast, in the United States, we've got this huge, clanky, expensive, inefficient mechanism. We're so hung up on it, we can't, we keep losing track of the goal, which is to cover everybody. Anyway, I thought it went pretty well. And in uh, one of the points that I make in the book and in the film is that um, you, you can have, other countries have private insurance, as I said, they're not all socialist, socialized medicine. But they've all made the decision that health insurance companies have to be nonprofit. They think there's a fundamental conflict between covering people's health care and paying a dividend to investors. Those two don't get together. If you have to make a profit on health care, then the first decision you make is, well, hell, I'm not going to cover anybody with a pre-existing condition. They might cost me money. Then you hire thousands of people, underwriters, to deny claims. You do all the things that the American health insurance companies do. No other country lets that happen in health insurance. In other countries, health insurance companies are quite friendly and good companies because they only exist to pay bills. And this comes very clear in the book and, and in the film. And so one of the senators <coughs> asked me, he said, well, it's pretty obvious from what you're saying that you can have private health insurance. It doesn't have to be run by government, but it has to be nonprofit. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll give you an A because you got the point. And, um, and this senator says to me, well, I wonder if you could just give us a little advice. How can we convince the American health insurance companies to give up all their profits and just do it as a public service? These are hugely successful, profitable companies. You know? And my first answer was, hey, I'm just a reporter. You're the politician. <laughs> but um, what I said was, well, in other countries, when they did institute nonprofit insurance, they did it basically by running against the insurance company. Switzerland is in my book. Switzerland has huge international drug companies and insurance companies, and they forced them to switch to nonprofit so they could get everybody covered, and it worked um, by running against the insurance company. So I said, I, I think you gotta you gotta demonize them. You know, nobody likes their insurance company anyway. If they stand. <laughs> They stand in the way of the kind of uh, change we need, run against them. And boy, those 16 senators backed off. Oh man, you know how much money those companies have? There's no way we're going to take that on. There was one guy, uh, this real lefty named Sherrod Brown from Ohio. He comes out of the union movement. And uh, Sherrod Brown is saying, yeah, let's nail those guys. <laughs> uh, but everybody else said, no, there, there's got to be a different approach. So. Uh, 